anytime I eat a salad, I feel like Kim Kardashian in that salad commercial. <laughs> Whenever she said that eating salad is sexy. <laughs> I'm sure it's really sexy whenever you have to worry about hell getting stuck between your teeth, right? <laughs> hey guys, my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel, Which Way to Wicked, where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. Okay, so guys, today we are going to be talking about who is madly in love with you, okay? So if you want to find out who in your life is crushing on you, then you have come to the right reading today, my friends, because we are going to be finding out their personality, their zodiac signs. We are also going to be finding out their initials as well from my little initial box and we are also going to be taking a look at what their physical traits might be as well. So, if you want to find out all that jazz, then let's go ahead and take a look at the group picks, okay? Hello, friends! So, here are your group picks today. So, for group number one, we have this gorgeous, like, Barbie-like pink. It is so freaking cute. So, this is going to be group number one, okay? And then for group number two, we have this beautiful, gorgeous, golden nail polish as well and guys I always get so sad whenever I see this color because I just wish that I could be that gorgeous and golden like my skin tone right <laughs> but guys I cannot tan for the life of me it's so sad <laughs> But that's going to be group number two. And then last but not least, for group number three, we have this awesome and bright, happy yellow color. Okay, so for my eternal optimists out there, this is going to be group number three. Okay, so guys, I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in. And now I want you to let it out. And now I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about who is madly in love with you, okay? Who is this person that is crushing on you? And then whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes. And whichever nail polish your eyes lands on first, then that, my dear, is going to be the reading for you today. Now, if you feel called to more than one, one nail polish here then definitely check out those groups corresponding messages because guys we all love to hear about the extra messages okay maybe you have more than one person that is in love with you okay <laughs> now as always I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below so without further ado let's go ahead and get into your reading today friends okay hey group one so if you chose this cute beautiful pink nail polish then hey hello friends this is gonna be your reading today okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here and let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards today okay so spirit for group one who is this person that is madly in love with them okay who is crushing on them can we get some personality traits please no reversals spirit what wants to come through for my gorgeous group one folks who is freaking in love with them can we get some extra cards please two more cards oh oh my goodness guys <laughs> that came out so fast and so strong wow okay so let's go ahead and see what is coming through so far far okay wow oh my goodness guys the cards that are coming through are so freaking beautiful okay wow okay guys so for the back of the deck we have the eight of fire coming through or the eight of wands 
We also have the Three of Fire or the Three of Wands. Then we have the Four of Water or the Four of Cups. And then we also have the Elder of Earth or otherwise known as the King of Pentacles in traditional tarot. Okay, so guys, first of all, just talking about the zodiac signs that are coming through, we are getting quite a bit of fire energy coming through. So think of the fire signs Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And then we do have the King of Pentacles coming through as well. So also think of our lovely Earth signs, such as our Capricorns, our Tauruses, our Virgos. Okay, but that could definitely be your person's sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus. Okay, but first of all, just talking about the personality traits that are coming through. With the Eight of Fire coming through right here, I definitely feel like this is somebody who is a really great communicator because the eight of fire this is all about messages going out and messages being received right and so I feel like this person is somebody who is really great at talking I think that they are extremely witty and I feel like anytime they are talking to people anytime they are having a conversation it's like everybody wants to listen to them I just feel like this is somebody who they are so freaking charming and they can literally make everybody stop talking just so that people can hear what they have to say, right? I am definitely getting the idea that this person, you know, wherever they go, it's like the world is their stage and they are just like catwalking straight on through, right? I mean, because look at this girl here. She is literally like riding in on like in like a blaze of glory on top of this bird here. So I'm definitely getting the idea. I feel like your person, this is somebody who makes an entrance wherever they go. I'm definitely getting the idea that this is somebody who is just so fierce and so confident within their own skin and there's just something about this person like wherever they go they are instantly noticed wherever they go it's like all eyes are on them and especially whenever they talk the whole world listens and so I think that that is really really powerful to see now with the three of fire coming through, this is literally the card of planning what you want to do for the future, deciding what it is that you are passionate about, deciding what it is that makes you happy, and then actually creating a plan to go after those things, right? To turn those passions into a reality. So I'm definitely getting the idea that this person who is madly in love with you, group one, this is somebody who is all action. This is somebody who knows exactly what they want to do with their life. They know exactly what it is that they want to go after and accomplish. And this is somebody who doesn't just sit there and talk about the things that they want to accomplish. This is somebody who is a doer. They are a planner and they are a conqueror. And I just think that that is so gorgeous to see. And that message is especially highlighted here with the Elder of Earth as well because this is the King of Pentacles, my friend traditional tarot and the one thing that you need you need to know about the king of pentacles this is somebody who they have a long-term vision for themselves they are all about their career they are all about creating a life where they have stability where they have all of the wealth and the success that they have dreamt of and this is somebody who is so patient you know once they decide what it is that they want to go after whatever it is that makes them happy whatever it is that they decide they want to focus their energy on this is somebody who is going to slowly but steadily accomplish all of those goals all of those tasks and this is somebody who is extremely hard working this is somebody who is strong wielded and honestly guys this is just somebody who is like a workhorse okay this is the type of person who will work and work and work and who will just focus all of their attention on devoting their time to uh, going after this goal that sometimes they could even compromise their health in the process but just talking about your person and correlating the king of pentacles 
to this person who we are talking about here. You know, like I said, not only is this person passionate, not only do they know what they want to go after here, this is somebody who, with this King of Pentacles energy, you know, no matter how long it takes for them to accomplish that goal, it doesn't matter. No matter what harder times they face, it does not phase them because this is somebody who will keep on going even whenever times get tough. This is somebody who will stay devoted and who will not give up. And I also think that this devotion also talks about the way that they treat the people within their lives. This is how they approach their relationships, their friendships as well. I would definitely describe this person who is madly in love with you as somebody who is such a loyal companion. This is somebody who is such a devoted friend. And I just think that that this is somebody who is like that rock whenever you know whenever things get tough whenever people feel like the world is just going against them and they have nobody that can help them i feel like people always go to this person because this is somebody who is just feels so safe this is somebody who you can always count on to come to for advice to come to for help and i think that your person is just somebody who people see as such a loyal friend such a loyal lover and people know that so long as they have this person by their side that the whole world can literally be against them but it doesn't matter because this person is in their corner and this person will help them through absolutely everything. And I just think that that is such a beautiful thing to see. That is such a beautiful quality for this person to have. Now, what is really interesting here is that we do get the four of water coming through. And this usually talks about somebody who is so stuck within their own world that they don't really notice anybody else that is trying to talk to them or trying to hang out with them or offer them them something and you know if you see this and this girl here you can see that she's looking at herself she's looking at her reflection in the water and she's so just like in her own world that she doesn't notice that this girl here is trying to get their attention and so I feel like whenever it comes to this person I think that this is somebody who is so focused on their dreams. They are so focused on working so hard for this goal that I feel like they oftentimes don't really take the time to notice people who are trying to befriend them. They don't really take the time to notice anybody that is actually like interested in them in a romantic sense. I feel like this is somebody who is just so fierce, so independent. They are so focused on accomplishing their goals that it's almost like they don't even notice that they have so many people that like them or so many people that are uh, trying to get their attention. And it's like they are oblivious to these things. And so I think that that is really interesting to see. And I am getting the idea that while this person is somebody who is extremely devoted to their friends, devoted to their family, I think that this is somebody who focuses so much on their job. This is somebody who is such an extreme hard worker that even though they would drop everything to be there for their friends and for their family if they are in distress, I feel like whenever things are calm, whenever things are going easy, everything is fine, I think that this person sometimes runs the risk of alien alienating themselves and not really communicating as much to their friends and to their family members because of the fact that they are just, like I said, so focused on attaining this goal. So that is really crazy to see. Um, but I'm trying to see if I'm getting any other messages coming through here. I'm honestly getting the idea that for some of you guys, you could know this person or they could know you through your social media account because with the Aid of Fire, this does sometimes talk about like online communication. So for some of you guys, you may not even physically have met this person. You may just know them through social media. Um, maybe you guys share some of the same like friends on Instagram or something like that. Um, I'm also getting the idea that for some of you guys, you could especially know this person through your job or through your schooling as well. But that is what I'm seeing so far. Let's go ahead and see what else wants to come through, okay? So Spirit, for group one, can we get some extra messages 
for this person who is this person that is madly in love with them okay and guys i do want to say that with this four of cups energy coming through i feel like this person even though they are a great communicator and they're really good at talking you know this is somebody who is so confident and so just happy within their own skin i feel like this is the type of person who even though they are madly in love with you i don't think that excuse me guys i don't think that this person is going to go out of their way to let you know that they like you because i feel like this person they are just so focused on trying to accomplish these goals and to turn these dreams of theirs into a reality that i feel like they are always telling themselves that once they accomplish their goals once they are successful then they can come to you and tell you that they like you so i'm definitely getting the idea that if you do know this person if you have met this person in like the physical world then i feel like you may never even guess in a million years that this person likes you you know if you've talked to this person if you're actually friends with them i don't think that you would ever even believe that this person is into you because of the fact that this person you know i feel like they are not the biggest open book ever i think that this is somebody who keeps their closest thoughts and opinions to themselves and so while they are a great communicator, while they're really fun to talk to, I don't think that this person talks about really deep and penetrating things. I think that it does take some time for this person to open up and to really have the confidence to tell you that they like you if that makes any sense because with the this earth energy coming through, this does talk about very slow moving energy. And so I feel like this person you know this is somebody who they would rather be friends with somebody first and they would definitely rather be accomplished whenever it comes to their work life and their career life or their school life before they decide to actually approach somebody in love and to actually tell people what it is that they are thinking or what it is that they are truly feeling okay so definitely know that if you know this person if you know who i'm talking about here i don't think that this person is going to be completely and 100 honest with their feelings for you right away it will take time um but yeah that is definitely coming through let's get a couple more cards okay i'm trying to think if i want one more yeah i think i'm gonna take one more can we have one more card spirit to represent group one who is this person okay guys so first of all we have victim coming through we also have vampire then we have slave and we also have child eternal okay so guys first of all with the victim and the vampire card coming through i'm definitely getting the idea that this person could have been a victim to some energy vampires within their lives i feel like this is somebody who they could have come from a very toxic relationship maybe they dated some really just mean people that didn't treat them in the way that that they deserve to be treated maybe this person was friends with people who were not very kind to them or they came from a family background where their mom and dad just didn't really appreciate them they didn't give them the love that they deserved and i think that that is another reason why this person is so slow at really letting other people know how they feel i feel like that is why this person is somebody that is more hesitant when it comes to allowing people to enter their life right and to truly allow people to know what they are feeling and how they are thinking because of the fact that these people were emotionally manipulated or just mistreated in the past and so i think that while this person you know they come off so strong and invincible when you meet them they come off as a force to be reckoned with and i think that this person they are so freaking strong because of the things that they have had to go through in the past this is somebody who they couldn't be weak whenever they were younger they couldn't show any type of weakness because of the fact that if they did show that type of weakness then they were instantly 
um, mistreated or people weren't nice to them, right? And so this is somebody who they have become strong because of the past that they were dealt with. And I think that it is hard for this person to truly open up and be vulnerable because they are afraid that once they are vulnerable, once they truly show their cards and they let people see their heart, they are afraid that these people will hurt them, that these people will not be kind to them. And I do want to mention here that I feel like this person, I think that they do have a lot of friends, but this is somebody who... Uh, they don't have a lot of close companions, if that makes any sense. Like, this is the type of person who, they have so many people within their life that they hang out with, that they will go out for drinks with, but I don't think that this is somebody who really opens up to these people, and it's only with a select few people that they do decide to open up to, that they do decide to be truly honest with. And I think that this is somebody who they like to keep their inner circle very, very small. It's like VIP only, right? And so that is definitely coming through as well, okay? And it's just going to take some time for this person to allow you entrance into their like VIP type of area, right? Um, and then what else is coming through is that we have Child Eternal and we also have the Slave card coming through. And I think that this is really beautiful because for the Slave card, it says surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. And then with this Child Eternal, you know, I'm just getting the idea that this is somebody who, even though they have had such a harder past, even though they've had people treat them very wrong, this is somebody who still looks at the world and they can see the magic in the world. This is somebody who they feel like there are so many endless possibilities awaiting them. And so I think that this is just somebody who they just have this amazing trust that so long as they are good to others, then good things will come to them. They have this amazing trust that so long as they work hard, then anything is possible and that they will be able to accomplish these goals that they have set in front of them and I just think that that is so incredible to see you know this is just somebody who you know even though they may have a bit of trust issues even though it takes a while for this person to open up to others you know this is still somebody who uh, they are a really big optimist whenever it comes to the things that they can accomplish and the things that they can go after right and I think that that is really interesting to see you know this person Person just has a lot of contradictory personality traits because even though like this person they have this amazing optimism whenever it comes to like their job whenever it comes to pursuing these dreams I feel like at the same time this person is a little pessimistic whenever it comes to their friends and to their lovers you know this is somebody who like I said it takes a long time for this person to really open up their group that they have that they are truly open and vulnerable with is so freaking small and that is just so uh, it's so weird to see <laughs> and I do also want to mention guys I'm sorry that this is just everywhere at the moment <laughs> i'm just talking about so many different things but you know these messages are coming through and i'm telling them to you as they come to me i feel like this person the reason why they focus so much time on their job the reason why they put their job first a lot of the times is because this person you know in the past like people never put them first in the past they were in certain relationships they were uh they had family members that never put them first. So I think that this is somebody who, instead of focusing all of their time on their relationships, on the people that are within their life, this is somebody who would rather choose to focus their time on their job because they feel like this is somebody, this is something, excuse me, that they can have complete control over. This is something that won't hurt them in the same way that people could hurt them, right? So that is really interesting to see. 
Guys, I'm just getting so many messages. You know, this person, I feel like they are such a workaholic, but at the same time, you know, this is also somebody who will still go out for drinks occasionally. They will still go out and talk to others and have a good time. But I think that, you know, at the same time, this is the type of person who they will put in the extra hours at their job. They will be the last one that is uh, uh, leaving the office. But I feel like, you know, at that midnight hour, Hour after they leave their office after they leave the job they will go out and they will go out for drinks with their co-workers or something like that right <laughs> I feel like all the co-workers will already be like three drinks in or four drinks in whenever this person goes ahead and like shows up like at the bar and they're like hey I'm here <laughs> so that is really funny to see so like I said your person is a workaholic but at the same time this is somebody who can still have fun and who can still hang out with others right but I still think that this is somebody who uh, they would much rather focus their time and energy on their job than focus their time and energy on the people in their life, if that makes any sense. Unless these people are going through a harder time, then I feel like they will be there like in an instant, right? And I just think that the reason why this person is like this, why they operate in this way is because, like I said, they are afraid of even the people who they are closest to hurting them or betraying them. And they are afraid that if they give too much of themselves to these people, then these people will betray them or not be kind to them, right? So that is so interesting. I feel like even the people who they have complete trust in, there are still moments where they second guess them and where they have these doubts, right? That is so crazy to see. Yeah, guys, literally as I'm saying that, we have faithfulness coming through with the cumin card. Yeah, that is so crazy. We have bitterness and we also have purification. So yeah, I just really think that with the faithfulness card coming through, this person just has a lot of things that they are a little bit bitter about. I really feel like they just haven't truly let go of the things in the past that were done to them. This is somebody who was really, really hurt, who was really, really betrayed. And that is something that is still an open wound. It hasn't healed yet. And so this person is somebody who is doubting the people within their lives. They are always doubting whether the people who they have opened themselves up to is really like really has the best intentions for them or whether these people are going to hurt them along the line. And I just think that at the end of the day, this person, you know, they are looking for this purification. You know, I feel like this person, they want to be able to let go of these things from the past. They want to be able to open up this new door and open up this new chapter of their life. They want to be able to trust others and to be an open book and to let other people see their heart. So that they can have these beautiful and boundless connections. But I just think that at the end of the day, there is still a lot of work that they need to do whenever it comes to truly trying to mend these wounds. And I think that this is just something that it's going to take some time. This pain that they are feeling is a process that they are going to have to go through to try to, you know, clot the wound, to make the blood stop, you know, gushing out. It's just going to take some time for those things to heal over and to scab. But I think that this person, they are somebody who they are so strong they are so confident and this is somebody who has so much energy and so much passion and i do think that in time this person will be able to conquer these fears they will be able to conquer these doubts but i think that in the meantime this is somebody who and they would much rather spend their time at work than spend their time with the people within their life. And I think that they are like this again because they are just afraid of getting hurt, right? So that is what I'm seeing so far, guys, okay? This person just has a lot of things that they need to work on. And I really think that even though this person is like madly in love with you, even though they really like you, I don't think that this person is going to be telling you that they like you anytime soon and I don't even think that you realize that this person likes you right so let's go ahead and get some physical traits and let's also get some um initials as well okay so spirit can we get some cards some physical traits to represent what this person looks like spirit what does this person looks like look 
What does this person look like? <laughs> Sorry guys, my grammar is so wrong today. Let's get um those cards. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. And then let's go ahead and give this a good stir. Or maybe I meant to say a good mix. I don't know. <laughs> now, let's get some initials, okay? Spirit. For group one, this person's initials. What are their initials, spirit? What are their initials, spirit? Can we get one more? All right, guys. Okay, guys, so for the physical traits, we have scar or beauty mark. So this person, they could have a scar, they could have a beauty mark. A, ugh, I cannot talk today, guys. I'm sorry. They could have a beauty mark, but I do think that the scar is also talking about, again, that they do have some open wounds right now, but they just have a lot of emotional wounds that they are still mending from the past, okay? Now, we also have athletic style coming through. So this person could like to wear like some cute like leggings. Maybe they like to wear those little basketball shorts or something like that, right? We have melanin. So this person could have darker skin. Maybe this is just somebody who with this athletic style, they are very fit. They're very athletic. Maybe they like to go out for runs a lot and they spend a lot of time out in the sun. So they could have a tan in that type of sense. Um, maybe this person even likes to go to the tanning booth, okay? We also have hipster or artistic style, and that honestly makes a lot of sense with all this fire energy that is coming through. You know, the fire energy is all about passion and expression and creativity, so I think that this person does have a very creative way in expressing their style. We also have light or fair skin coming through, so, you know, this is a very general reading. Some of these people could have darker skin. Some of these people that like you could have lighter skin, or this could even represent that maybe they are somewhere in between with, like, like with like an olive skin tone, right? We also have Team Jacob. Ooh, guys, okay, so what I mean by that is that I did do like teams, and these are teams from like, like popular pop culture movies, okay? And this was supposed to be Team Jacob and Team um, Edward from Twilight, right? But obviously you guys got Team Jacob. So this is talking about how your person could look like Jacob, maybe they have some really nice abs. This could be somebody who likes to walk around shirtless a lot, <laughs> which we all love because you all know how he was always shirtless, okay? <laughs> so this person could definitely have really nice abs or muscles and maybe they like to show them off, okay? Which makes so much sense because guys, these people work so hard for those abs so they might as well show them off, right? <laughs> We also have glam all the time. So this could also be somebody who they may like to dress in an athletic style, but you know, at the same time, this is also somebody who likes to glam it up. They like to have some nice glamorous makeup. They like to dress very just awesome, right? And glamorous, okay? <laughs> so yeah. Like I said, this person, like, I think that they are very creative. And so this person could have a very creative way of doing their makeup and styling their hair. But, yeah, maybe they like to do, like, those beautiful, like, intricate, like, hairstyles. You know, like, what the, like, the girls wear for prom. Maybe that could be talking about, like, that type of glammed up type of look. But, you know, this is a very general reading, so just take it as it comes. But anyways, guys, for the initials, we have Z coming through. We also have Y. Let's go ahead and put this right here. We have R, E. We have another R coming through. We have an A and M. Oh, and another M. Okay, guys. So I'm trying to see if I see any names. Okay. Oh, I see May coming through, so that could represent a name, May, or this could represent a, sp a like significant month for you guys. Maybe this is your person's birthday month. They could be a Taurus, right? Um, or I think that May... 
May also represents like Geminis as well. So maybe your person is a Gemini too. But this could represent like a time that you guys end up getting together. Maybe this is the month that things start heating up between you. Okay. I'm trying to see if I see any other names coming through. I see Mare. So maybe somebody's name is Meredith. Um, but with that, with those two R's coming through, you know, think of R names, right? So like Rachel or Ray or Rex, Riley, Roxanne, right? Um, with the M's, uh, think of M names, Michael, Max, Miles, um, what are some other M names? Mary, right? But yes, guys, that is what I'm seeing whenever it comes to these initials. You know, these could, again, represent just your person's first, middle, or last initials as well. But, yes, guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this reading. And if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel. Because I post new videos every Monday and Friday. And I would love to have you stop by this side of terror tube again sometime okay so i love you all so much and i hope that you have an amazing rest of your day today okay Mwah. bye guys hey group two so if you chose this gorgeous golden nail polish then hey hello friends this is gonna be your reading today okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put this right here and let's take a look at your tarot cards today okay so spirit for group two who is this person that is madly in love with group two okay spirit can we get some cards please to represent their personality traits what zodiac signs they might be spirit please no reversals okay can we get one more card please spirit one more card let's get one more card perfect guys all righty guys oh my gosh the cards that you are receiving are so freaking beautiful okay so first of all for the back of the deck energy we do have the queen of air or otherwise known as the queen of swords in traditional tarot we also have the two of water or the two of cups coming through we have the nine of earth or the nine of pentacles and then we also have temperance coming through as well now first of all just taking a look at the zodiac signs that are coming through with this temperance energy this does represent our beautiful Sagittarius signs okay and then we do have some air energy coming through with the queen of air so think of the air signs Libra Aquarius Gemini okay but that can definitely be your person's sign Sun Moon rising or in Venus okay but guys I'm so so excited for you because guys we literally have the two of cups coming through and guys this literally talks about the soulmate card this talks about meeting your perfect match this talks about true love and so I'm definitely getting the idea that I really feel like whoever this person is that likes you who is in love with you I feel like the feelings are definitely mutual okay I feel like this is somebody who you are also crushing on this is somebody who you also like but since this is a very general reading for some of you guys if you don't happen to uh, like this person right now if you don't have romantic feelings for them i definitely think that this is somebody who if you start to talk to them if you really start to get to know this person i really feel like you guys could have the chance of falling madly and deeply in love with one another okay and i just think that that is so beautiful to see i'm definitely getting the idea that with these other cards coming through this is just such an amazing person okay now first of all just talking about who this person is talking about their personality traits you know with the queen 
Queen of Air card coming through. This does talk about somebody who is a very independent person. This talks about somebody who is an independent thinker. This talks about somebody who is very charming and witty whenever it comes to social circumstances, okay, and social interactions. And this also talks about somebody who is just so freaking intelligent, okay? So I would definitely describe this person as somebody who is a lifelong learner. I really feel like this is someone who is always trying to learn as much as they can from the world and from the people who are in it. I think that this is somebody who has a fascination in politics and religion and every facet of the world that they can learn about, right? This could definitely be somebody that loves to listen to podcasts, that loves to read as many books as possible. This is probably the person who actually likes to go to school because they think that school is fun. <laughs> So I really am getting a bit of nerdy vibes from this person, but I think that this person, they make the nerdiness like hot, right? I feel like this person is just somebody who comes off as a really hot commodity because we literally have the nine of earth or the nine of pentacles coming through. And guys, this usually does talk about a very strong and independent person. This talks about somebody who is just happy on their own and they don't really need to be in a relationship or they don't really need to have all of these like friendships in order to bring them joy and this is definitely somebody who is just so freaking attractive because of the fact that this person knows their worth they know how amazing they are and they just have this amazing sense of self-love so i'm definitely getting the idea that even though this person is a really really nerdy i think that this is somebody who rocks that nerdiness so much. I think that this is somebody who they just own everything about themselves, right? And I think that people see that and they love it, right? And I just think that that is really cool to see. And if you just take a look at this person, I don't know if you can see her, but she's literally sitting like right here on this girl. She's sitting right here and she just looks so beautiful. She's like wrapped in this gorgeous like leafy type of dress and she just looks like she is so gorgeous and so elegant she looks like the main character so I'm definitely getting the idea that this person who is in love with you they are the main character wherever they go right I'm also getting the idea like like I was saying like with that like nerdiness energy coming through I feel like this is just somebody who they are really big about being true and authentic to who they are and I feel like whatever it is that this person is passionate about I think that they like to express it through their clothes and through the way that they dress so if this is somebody who is into like animal rights and they're in, into like animal activism maybe they're a vegan they could be somebody who likes to wear shirts that talk about like like how you shouldn't eat meat or something right maybe this is somebody who likes to wear a shirt that says like save the penguins or something like that if this is somebody who is really big about politics and maybe they like to wear their like political affiliations like in their clothing maybe they like to wear like hats that has whoever it is that they're rooting for right um but i do just think that this is definitely somebody who is very vocal i feel like this is somebody who is just very true about who they are they are very honest about what they believe in, but I feel like at the same time, with this temperance energy coming through, I feel like this is somebody who has such a calming presence, and I feel like this is somebody who, they have such an amazing ability to love and appreciate everybody who they meet, and I feel like even though this person is really big about what they believe in, I feel like even though this person is very opinionated, I feel like this is also somebody who is willing to listen to others and to other people's opinions, even if their opinions are completely different from them, and I feel like this is the type of person who they love to hear what other people think. They love to be able to talk to others that think differently than them because this is just somebody who, like I said, they are so intelligent. They are so interested in people and in the way the world works. So obviously they want to be able to hear people that have different opinions from them. They want to be able to figure out how their mind works. They want to be able to probe them and figure out what it is that makes them think 
whatever it is that they think, right? And so I think that this is the type of person who... Uh, I don't think that they are cruel to others that think differently than them. In fact, I feel like this is somebody who they are excited to meet people that think differently than them. They are excited to meet people that come from different paths or different cultural backgrounds. I really feel like this person who is madly in love with you, I feel like this is somebody who loves to unite opposites. They love to just make everybody feel so comfortable with everyone and this is somebody who whenever they see people they don't hate people or despise other people's differences this is somebody who loves people for who they are and i think that this is just somebody who makes other people feel very confident i think that they make people feel so loved and i feel like they do make people feel heard right and i think that that is such an amazing quality to have and with this two of cups energy coming through i just think that this person they just have so much love to give i really think that this is somebody who is very kind hearted I think that they have such a beautiful soft side to them. I think that this is somebody who is very sensitive, very loving and kind and very nurturing. And I really am getting the idea that even though this is somebody who loves to be on their own, even though this is somebody who craves their independence, they crave their alone time, I think that at the same time, this is somebody who truly values their friendships. They value their relationships, their family members, the people who are in their life they value their tribe this is a type of person who will go out of their way to help a stranger right it's like if they see an old lady that's trying to cross the street and there's a lot of cars this is the type of person who will get out of their own car so that they can help this old lady cross the street this is somebody who they always perform random acts of kindness but they don't do it in a way to try to get attention or in a way to try to you know get people to notice them they do it in a a way that they just want to help others and they are just so kind and loving and I just think that that is so so beautiful to see and I just feel like in a world where everybody feels like they have to be hard they have to be tough all the time this is somebody who I really feel like wears their heart on their sleeve this is somebody who is just very kind and open and honest and I think that that is something that is so refreshing and I just think that their honesty their kindness their love is something that makes other people just feel so easy whenever they are around them. I think that this is the type of person who so many people want to hang out with them because of the fact that they are just so sweet. They're like a ray of sunshine. And I just think that they attract so many people to their light because of how loving they are, right? And I just think that that is so sweet to see. And I do also want to say that with this Nine of Earth card coming through, I think that this is also somebody who is a very successful person I think that this is somebody who is going to accomplish so much whenever it comes to their career, whenever it comes to the job that they decide to go after, the goals that they set for themselves and for their life. I really feel like this is somebody who, no matter what they decide to do, they are going to be so successful, they are going to be so wealthy, and they are just going to accomplish so much because of the fact that they are just so ambitious, and I think that they just always have this optimism about them like I feel like even if this person is going through harder times within their job or harder times along the pathway to success this is the type of person who they won't get upset they won't lose faith this is the type of person who can always see the brighter so the like the, the light at the end of the tunnel right they can always see the brighter side and where there are so many people that will give up whenever the going gets tough this is the type of person who is ambitious enough and also optimistic enough to keep on going and to see a way where there is no way and i just think that that is so gorgeous to see so let's go ahead and get some extra cards wow guys we have Femme Fatale coming through. Oh my goodness. We love that. Literally, guys, what was I saying? I feel like this person, you know, I think that this is somebody who so many people want to be with because of the fact that they are just so independent and they are so confident with themselves. And I'm honestly getting the idea. I think that for a lot of you guys, this person is very, very attractive on the outside. 
side. But even if this person isn't traditionally attractive, I think that this is somebody who, because they are so confident, because they have so much self-love and assurance within themselves, I think that this automatically makes them so freaking sexy to other people. And people are just attracted to this person's confidence, right? It's just so hot. They wear it so well, right? So that is so cool to see. I'm definitely getting the idea that this person who is in love with you, they have their own fair share of people who are in love with them, right? We also have Beggar coming through. And I think that this is so beautiful to see because I think that this is going coming through to talk about how this person, they want to help the helpless. They want to be there for people who are going through the hardest moments of their life this is somebody who is a freaking healer with the healer card coming through and this is somebody who will always be there for others and this is somebody who is so willing to just give their time to help people out of the kindness of their own heart right and I just think that that is so beautiful to see so let's go ahead and get some extra cards okay spirit for group one or excuse me did I say group one I meant group two. For group two, can we get some extra cards, please? Who is this person, spirit? Who is this person? Okay, guys. So, we have Reignite coming through. We also have Sleep. And then we have power. Okay, so yes, guys, I really think that these cards are coming through to represent that even whenever this person is tired, even whenever they feel like their energy is being completely zapped, even whenever this person goes through hard or darker moments within their life, this is somebody who has so much optimism and so much faith in the world and in the future that is awaiting them that they are always able to reignite the power that they have within themselves and I really think that this power that they have comes from the fact that like I said they are an eternal optimist this is somebody who wears those gorgeous rose colored glasses and I f really feel like this person I feel as though they come off as somebody who is like a child I think that they just look at the world like a child does and they are able to see the magic where other people can only see the mundane side of the world right Right? I just think that this is somebody who they are always so excited about what is awaiting them. They are always able to see that there are so many like unlimited possibilities for them but they just have to keep on pushing they just have to keep on going and eventually they will get to the other side eventually they will find and discover the magic that they know exists and that lives in the world and I just think that that is so beautiful to see guys uh, I am just so excited for you this uh, this person who likes you just sounds so freaking amazing okay so let's go ahead and get some physical traits and then we'll also get some initials as well okay so spirit for group two can we get some physical traits please can we get some physical traits okay can we get some physical traits okay so let's go ahead and put this back right here and now let's take a look at the initials as well okay so spirit for group two can we get some initials please initials Alright, or actually I think I went a couple more. <laughs> okay, I lied. I actually pulled four more. <laughs> okay guys, so let's see what is coming through so first of all we have not your usual type okay yeah guys like i was saying i think that for a lot of you guys this could definitely be somebody who you already like who you have mutual feelings of attraction for with the two of cups coming through but i do think that for 
um, others of you. This could be somebody who you don't really like at first. Maybe this is just somebody who, like the card says right here, is not your usual type. Maybe this person is somebody who is very different from you. Maybe they come from a different, like, family background. Maybe this is somebody who has completely different, like, political or religious opinions. Maybe this is somebody who just looks different from the type that you are interested in. But I feel like as you get to know this person, as you start to talk to them, I really feel like you are just going to see that this person is so kind, so loving, and I just think that the relationship that you guys are going to have, the friendship that you guys are going to have is going to feel so effortless, guys, because the Two of Cups, this literally talks about, like, the card of soulmates, and I feel like this is just somebody who you are able to talk to so well. This is somebody who you feel so comfortable around. This is somebody who, as you get to know them, you are just going to fall madly in love with them as well, and I think that that is so freaking beautiful to see, okay? Now, we also have crop tops, so this person could definitely like to wear crop tops. We also have grungy Kurt Cobain or Courtney Love style. So yes, this person could be somebody who likes to have that like 90s alternative look. Maybe they like to wear ripped jeans and a leather jacket. That's always fun to see. They could have blonder or lighter hair, right? We have the all natural look. So at the same time, maybe this is somebody who is more into the natural look when it comes to like their makeup, right? If they wear makeup. We also have a bob haircut, which is funny because Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love both have a bob or like a shorter haircut, right? So your person could definitely have shorter hair. We have Team Bill. Okay, so this is actually coming from the TV show True Blood. Um, I had Team Bill and I also had Team Eric. These are some two sexy vampires on uh, True Blood. <laughs> but anyways, whenever it comes to Team Bill, this is somebody who dresses very very nice this is somebody who likes to wear like a button-up shirt and they like to wear like some nice jeans right this is also somebody who has darker hair so just take this as it resonates this is a very general reading so for some of you guys this person could like to dress very grungy they could have lighter hair shorter hair for others of you this could be somebody who has darker brown hair maybe they, they like to dress a little bit nicer right and then we also have glasses so this person could like to wear glasses or uh they could like wear glasses all the time right <laughs> but anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the initials okay so we do have two r's coming through we also have an s a b and x we have a u an R, an M, a Z, and a G. So I'm trying to see if we have any names coming through here. Let me see. I do see Sue or Rue coming through. So maybe your person's name is like Susanna or just Rue, right? <laughs> um... I'm trying to see if I see any other names, guys. I'm going to be honest. I really don't see that many names, but just know that this could represent your person's first, middle, or last initials. Since we do have two R's coming through, um, your person could definitely have some type of R name, right? Maybe their name is Rachel, Riley, Roxanne, Rex, Raven. You know, think of all those R names, right? Robin. Um, but yes, guys. That is what I'm seeing for the initials, but yeah, so <laughs> take that as it resonates, okay? Just feel free to play around with them, try to make some names, try to um, figure out some initials or something like that, but yes, guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading, and if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday, and I would love to have you stop by this side of Terror Tube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much, and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day today, okay? Mwah.
Bye guys. Hey group three, so if you chose this bright and sunny yellow color, then hey, hello friends. This is gonna be your reading today, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here and let's take a look at your tarot cards, okay? So spirit, for group three, can we get some cards to represent the person who is madly in love with them right now? Who is this person? Can we get some personality traits, spirit? No reversals, please. Can we get some personality traits, spirit? Okay, guys. Wow. Oh, guys, the cards that we are receiving are so cute. I do think I want to clarify one card. With the five of air coming through, can we clarify this card, spirit? Who is this person? Okay, and we have the Council of Monarchs. That is so interesting to see. And then for the back of the deck, we also have Temperance coming through as well. Now first, just taking a look at the cards that we received, we do have the Nine of Fire or the Nine of Wands. We also have the Five of Air or the Five of Swords, which is clarified by the Council of Monarchs, or this is also known as the Emperor card in traditional tarot. And then we also have the Queen of Earth or the Queen of Pentacles. And then again, for the back of the deck energy, we do have that Temperance energy coming through okay but just really quickly talking about the zodiac signs that we are seeing we do have some Sagittarius energy coming through with the temperance we have Aries energy energy with the council of monarchs we also have quite a bit of earth energy coming through as well with the queen of earth so think of our beautiful earth signs Taurus Virgos Capricorns okay but that can definitely be your person's sign Sun Moon rising or in Venus okay but now just talking about your person's personality I definitely feel like this is somebody who is a very hard working person with the Queen of Earth coming through I feel like this is somebody who is all about their job they're all about whatever goal that they are going after and I feel like this is somebody who they are going to achieve this goal no matter what crap that they have to face. This is just the type of person who they are so determined, so strong-willed, and so ambitious that even whenever they go through the darkest times while they are going after this certain goal that they are trying to achieve, this is the type of person who they will not give up at all. They will not pull in the towel and call it a day. This is somebody who will keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. And I just think that that is so beautiful. So I'm definitely getting the idea that this person, they could be a bit of a workhorse or even a workaholic, right? I feel like this is definitely the type of person who, whenever their friends are going out after work for drinks, I think that this is the type of person who they will instead decide to stay at the job and take on some extra shifts. I'm also getting the idea that this is the type of person who, if they are in school right now, if they're in college, I feel like instead of going out to like the college parties, instead of going out to do different fun things with their like friends, right? I feel like this is the type of person who they will have a date with themselves and their big book at the library so that they can study for their next test, right? This is just somebody who they are so motivated to succeed. And I really think that this is the type of person who they are just going to be so freaking wealthy. This is the type of person who is going to succeed so much in life and I think that that is something that is just so beautiful and I really think that a lot of people look up to this person. I really feel like this person who likes you, everybody sees this person as their biggest like inspiration and I think that that is really really sweet to see. I would also describe this person as somebody who is a very loyal friend and a very loyal lover. I feel like this is the type of person person who um 
once they do make a friend, once they do decide somebody is like a part of their tribe and they love them, this is the type of person who they will go out of their way to protect their friends. They will always be there for them. And I really feel like because this person is so practical, because they are so strong-willed, they are so just reliable, I feel like this is the type of person who they are a rock to so many of their friends. I feel like so many people are always going to this person so that they can seek out their advice so that they can seek out their nurturing and protective energy and I just think that this is the type of person who they inspire people to keep on pushing harder and harder even whenever they are going through darker times even whenever it just seems like it is impossible to secede this is the type of person who you want to have in your corner because I really feel like this person who loves you group three they are just the type of person who they don't give up. And I think that so many people love to be by them. So many of this person's friends love to just be in the same room as them because whenever their friends feel like it is just impossible to see, secede whenever they are doubting themselves so much. They are able to see this person who loves you. They are able to see this person's strength, this person's determination, this person's strong will. And that in itself is just so inspiring to them and it motivates them to secede as well. And I really think that that is so beautiful to see. Now with the Five of Air coming through and the Council of Monarchs, I'm definitely getting the idea. In the past, I feel like this person has had to go through some darker moments. I really am getting the idea that this person was a victim and that they could have had either a toxic relationship, they could have had some toxic friends, or maybe they even came from a toxic family. But I feel like they had people within their lives that were constantly telling them that they could never achieve their goals. They had people in their lives telling them that they weren't good enough, that they were never going to be successful or amount to anything. And I feel like it is because this person has gone through this harder moment. I feel like it is because this person had, has had to face these tougher times that this person has built up that strong will, has built up that amazing ambition and hardworking nature that they have because I am just getting the idea that this person wants to be able to achieve so much so that they can prove these people wrong and I think that that is so beautiful to see and then at the end of the day with the nine of fire coming through this literally talks about somebody who again does not give up on their goal this is somebody who even whenever they are battered whenever they are bruised they get back up and they keep on fighting and I'm also getting the idea that with this card coming through, I feel like this is also somebody who is very protective of their friends. I feel like this is somebody who will fight against so many people to try to make sure that their friends are safe, to try to make sure that their friends are happy. And this is the type of person who, if they find out that their friends, their family members, their lovers are being bullied or that people are mistreating them, I feel like this is the first person that will go up to these people who are bullying them them who are not being very kind and they will definitely share some words with them. They will definitely fight for their friends and they really are just so protective and caring of the people who are a part of their tribe and of the people who they see as their close family, right? And I think that that is really, really beautiful to see and I think that so many people love and appreciate that about them. And what I find really funny is that I am getting a lot of like dad energy from this person. I feel like this person, they are like the dad within their social circle, within their friend groups. I feel like this is the type of person who they have a lot of masculine energy to them. And I really feel like even whenever this person goes up and like shares words with other people, even whenever this person is trying to you know, defend their friends, I feel like they do it in a very fatherly way, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I feel like this person, whenever they uh, uh, talk to people, 
and they tell them like what they are doing is wrong they do it in a very like fatherly type of disapproving way right like I don't think that they this is somebody who like raises their voice or who screams at other people I just think that they are very stern and they have this just otherworldly like just dominating presence to them and I feel like even whenever they say things quietly I feel like they don't have to raise their voice to make a point they don't have to raise their voice to be heard they just have that type of fatherly vibe right and what I mean by that is that you know whenever you get in trouble and um your dad like comes up to you and tells you like you shouldn't have done that you know that is wrong it is whenever they talk in that way like they don't even have to raise their voice it's just the way that they are looking down on you and that they are disappointed in you that makes you feel like you did something so bad and you're so upset about it that is the way that I feel like this person is. Like, I just feel like they have a very fatherly way about them. And they just make people feel like they are doing something so bad, right? And I think that that's really funny to see. So, oh my gosh. Guys, literally, as I'm saying that, <laughs> we literally have bully coming through. Yes, guys. This person, I really feel like they have been bullied in the past. I really feel like this person has been mistreated either from their friends, from their family members, from their lovers. And so this is the type of person who they refuse to let other people be bullied. They refuse to let other people be mistreated, especially their friends. And this is the first person that will go out of their way to defend these people, to uh, freaking tell these people uh, what they are doing is wrong, right? And this is just somebody who they don't have to raise their voice. They don't have to be really mean about it to make other people listen to them. They just have this amazing like power about them. They have this magnitude, this freaking just amazing strength. And it is something that cannot be ignored and it cannot be forgotten right and so whenever they tell people like what they are doing is wrong like they are immediately heard and I think that that is so incredible to see we also have God coming through and so I really think that this is somebody who they are a very compassionate person this is somebody who has again so much strength and I really feel like this is just somebody who like I said is very motivational and inspirational to so many people right and I feel like this person who likes you group three this is somebody who they are a leader to so many people this is somebody who uh, so many people love to listen to they love to receive their advice and I feel like this is somebody who they have so many people that look up to them they have so many people that are trying to uh, uh, walk in their footsteps and who want to do what they do right does that make sense this is just somebody who they inspire so many people and I think that that is really sweet to see and then with the prince card coming through this says romantic charm and potential for power so this person with that prince link energy i feel like while they are a bit um of a workaholic while they are a bit more on the quieter side which i feel like is coming through with the temperance card i feel like this is also somebody who is quite charming as well and i think that this is someone who has a lot of people that are interested in them romantically i feel like this is somebody who has so many secret admirers so many people have a crush on them and i think it's because this person you know they are just such a magnificent person. They are just so strong, so determined, so ambitious. And I feel like at the same time, this is somebody who does have a romantic streak. I feel like this is somebody who likes to make people feel loved and feel happy. I really am getting the idea that this is the type of person who likes to share their love for people by buying them things, by taking care of people, right? Um, like I was saying, like with that dad energy whenever you see dads you know they try to like make their wives happy by taking care of them by nurturing them by making sure that everything is okay that they have all of the money that they need all of the things that they need to bring them happiness right and whenever 
dads try to make their wives happy they also buy them gifts and they buy them flowers right and so I feel like this is somebody who their main love language is through uh, gifts right and is through just taking care of others and I think that that is something that people cannot resist about them I just think that they are constantly buying their friends knickknacks they are constantly trying to pay their friends their family members uh, like dinner bill and they always try to take people to the movies and they're like saying oh it's my treat and I think that that is something that people appreciate so much about them so let's go ahead and get some extra cards okay well guys ooh, <laughs> we literally have romance coming through yeah guys this person I really feel like they have a very romantic side to them I think that that is really sweet to see we also have power and ferocity coming through guys again this is just like the re everything that I've been saying in a nutshell this person is just so powerful I really think that this person has a lot of divine masculine energy to them I feel like this is the type of person who just wherever they go they are instantly recognized they are instantly seen and people can just see the strength of will the strength of character that they have and that is something that is just so beautiful and so attractive to so many people and then we also have ferocity and I just think that again this person is so fierce whenever it comes to defending their friends to protecting their family members to making sure that everybody is happy that everybody is being taken care of this is just somebody who is so passionate and I think that that is so sweet to see and I do want to say that with the bully card coming through I think that this is somebody who they don't just defend their friends and their family members whenever it comes to bullies I think that this is somebody who they refuse to let anybody be mistreated they refuse to let anybody be bullied and so if this person sees anybody even a stranger being mistreated this is the type of person who will go out of their way to defend them to protect them and like I said I don't think that they will raise their voice I don't think that they would be overtly mean to these people I just think that they will tell them very calm and very quietly that these people need to stop doing that that they are being very disrespectful and cruel and that they need to walk away and I think that it is from the way that this person just has that dad that far fatherly energy it's the way that this person has so much power that they're words cannot be ignored and I think that that is so incredible to see and then like I said one last thing with this temperance energy coming through I do feel like this is somebody who is a bit more on the quieter side I would definitely describe this person as somebody who keeps more to themselves they are a bit more of a loner of sorts but I think that this is somebody who they do have friends but it's just that their friends are more of a tighter circle, right? I think that this is somebody who they kind of just have a smaller circle of friends but for the friends that they do have they are so loyal and so protective of them but at the end of the day this is also somebody who just wants everybody to be happy and they will go out of their way to help others and to make sure that people who they don't even see as being a part of their tribe people who they just see as strangers are happy and are taken care of right and I think that that is really really cool to see so let's go ahead and take a look at the other cards okay so spirit for group three, what does this person look like? Can we get some physical traits, please? What does this person look like? Okay. And then let's go ahead and get some initials as well. Spirit, can we get some initials, please? Can we get some initials? Okay, oops, guys. <laughs> so I also have like charms in here as well, but I'm trying not to take the charm, so I put the charm back in, okay? <laughs> so let's get one more. All right, there we go. Okay, guys, I think I want to pull just a couple more physical traits because I honestly didn't pull that many. So Spirit, can we get a couple more? Okay. All right, there we go. So, let's go ahead and see what came through. Okay, guys, so for the physical traits, we have shaved hair. So, this person could have a very dramatic shaved head moment going on, which is so cool to see. We have hipster 
or artistic style so this person could be a bit more of like a Vanessa Hudgens type of person they may like to wear like really long and flowy clothes and pretty uh, skirts and stuff if this person is a bit more like on the masculine side they could be somebody who they're just really into like cool like jewelry maybe they like to wear spiritual jewelry of sorts right uh, this could be somebody who just has a really interesting way of just dressing right and i think that that's really fun to see we also have older than you yeah i definitely think that this person could be older than you or at the very least this is just somebody who is very mature i feel like they are just very wise beyond their years and that's really interesting to see right we also have team jacob coming through so i am talking about jacob from twilight so um what i mean by that is that your person could look quite similar to them they could have darker skin um maybe Maybe they are even Native American by chance, um, but that doesn't have to resonate for all of you guys. Just take it as it resonates because this is a very general reading. They could just at the very least have like darker hair and darker features, right? We also have similar to you, so they could also look very similar to you. So if you are somebody who you have dark hair, dark eyes, this person could have darker hair, darker eyes. If you are somebody who you have lighter hair, blue eyes, then you know this person could also look like that right we have dimples oh that's so cute to see your person could have dimples guys i love dimples <laughs> they are just so so freaking cute we also have glam all the time so this person could be somebody who likes to always do their makeup really nice they could like to dress really nice all the time which is really cool to see and then we also have ginger so guys they could have uh, some ginger hair as well which is Mwah. one of my favorite hair colors ever my goodness i love gingers but anyways guys let's go ahead and take a look at the initials okay so first of all we do have two Q's coming through. That's quite interesting. I honestly can't really think of any Q names. I know that there's like Quinn and Quentin. So maybe your person's name is Quinn or Quentin, right? <laughs> we also have H and we have an S. We have an F, an L, a G, an X, and a B. So I honestly don't see any names that I can make with these initials. But just know, like I said, these are initials. So this could represent your person's first, middle, or last initial, okay? But yes, guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading. And if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of Terror Tube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day, okay? Mwah. Bye guys!